2000 in the year Jaguar XKR. Four point, uh, it's a four litre supercharged S1, so it's the four litre supercharged. 29,129 miles on the clock. We've got 14 stamps in the book as well. Supplied by Brownsley and Jaguar, brand new, straight to Alan Shearer, this one. Only three owners from new. Like I say, 29,129 miles with 14 stamps in the book. If you check the website, that'll all be, all be listed on there. This number plate here is in the, in the process of being taken off, so it will not be coming on that private registration. It'll be back on its original registration, which will be listed in the web, on the website in the description as well. Four litre supercharger spawn in silver with a cream leather, pretty looking car. Body weight wise, we're going to start off the bonnet, work our way around the car, onto the interior, and then we'll do an engine start up. We'll get the roof up and down as well. Right hand side of the bonnet's lovely and straight across the top. Same down the middle there, a little bit of a mark on the bonnet there. Wants a bit of a polish in places, we're really picking on it. And the odd little stone chip, which you're going to get on a car from 2000, but it's the condition is right for the mileage. Across that front scuttle there, lovely and tidy. Tiny little bubbling on the alley trim at the top of the left hand corner. As we come down the front end onto those crystal clear headlights on both sides, the reflectors are all lovely and clean as well. A few little stone chips on the nose going there, but you will notice it's all one colour silver. There's no colour discrepancy there at all, and that's lovely to see on a Jaguar of this age. Normally, normally the bumpers are a completely different colour. As we come around the front, we've got a little bit of a scuff on the front there. That is on the left-hand side below the headlight, next to that big grill. Across the front end, a few little stone chips to worry about there, and that's all really. A little bit of a scratch there on the, on the right-hand side. As we come up the wing top, all lovely and straight on the wing top, and down the wing, you'll see there's no rust coming through on the paint side of things. Down to the lower half of the sill. Not black, it's all still silver with the right stone guard on it there, factory stone guard. And you'll see we've got those lovely big BBS alloys all the way around, which were standard on the on the supercharged cars. We have got the special little valve to pump the tires up as well. That's in the service history file. The wheels do want to refurb on this. That's the only thing that lets this car down is the wheels do want to refurb, but yet again, not daft money anymore for four wheels to be refurbished. As we come up the pillar and around the windscreen, no stone chips across the top or any rust on this painted section here. Around the wing mirrors, on these alley stalks, normally you have a corrosion on there. None on this side, lovely and clean. So is the wing mirror cap. Across the door on the driver's side, all nice and straight, nice and level. Across the bottom half and across the top half. We've got a few tiny little marks at the back of the door there. That is the driver's door, but again, lovely and straight. No big dings or dents down the side of that at all. But remember, it's only done 29,000 miles. As we come around the rear arch, again, no rust coming through on the paint side of things on the arch. The quarter's lovely and straight. Have a good look at that there. Lovely and fresh and silver. As we come down that lovely rear quarter, onto the lower section here. I've got my hand in there. Normally, we get some corrosion here bubbling up. Have a good look at that there. Still got the little stone chip guard on the back arch as well, which just stop a lot of stone chips and corrosion coming through there. And have a look at that wheel as well. Let's say they do want to refurb, we've got a little bit of corrosion on the wheel. As we come round the right hand bumper corner again, clear and straight, the reflectors lovely and crack free across the back of the bumper and onto the left hand side again. No scuffs or scrapes on the back bumper there. Lovely and tidy. A few very, very, very light scratches where stuff's been put in the boot. Rear light lenses again, nice and clear. No cracking or moisture in those at all. As we come across the top of the boot lid, even the high level brake, light, lovely and fresh. So is the rest of that deck lid. No dings or dents. And again, look at the colours, all one colour silver. Tiny little bit down here, sort of stone chips, sort of just starting to bubble up there. Tiny little bit, that's on the right hand side underneath the rear light. The left hand side is nice and clear. As we work our way around onto the left hand rear quarter again, lovely and straight down the left hand side. No issues around the fuel cap, no heavy scratching around there at all. As we work our way down the 
across the lower half onto this back piece again. I'm going to put the camera right underneath there so you can have a good look at that. A few little bits of tar. Lovely and straight down this rear quarter as well. As we wait our way around with the stone guard protector and down to the bottom, you've got a tiniest amount there on the bottom of the arch. You can see that tiny little bit there. Rest of the sill section, nice and straight as we come up this rear quarter. A few little marks in the paint on the rear quarter. And in the right light, you can just see a sort of light scratch there on the rear quarter as we come down onto the passenger front door. Again, lovely and straight, all the gaps are good. Nothing going on at the back edge of the door here. And around the handle, a little, few little surface scratches, but nothing to really worry about at all there. Work our way along the sill, got a tiny little bubble there. As we come along the sill, lovely and straight, up the front of the wing there. Around the indicator, you've got no corrosion. And again, around that wing, nice and slowly. Have a good look at that. We're not going to see many more of these in this condition with this mileage, with all the stamps in the boot there. Again, wheels want to refurb and this one is missing a centre cap. Into the interior now, the cream leather. Have a good look at this here. We'll do the roof in a minute. Door card, lovely and tidy. No real wear at all to that. All the wood. No delamination at all to any of the wood across the dashboard or that half wood steering wheel. Normally you get a bit of delamination at the top, as you can see on this one, there is no cracking in that at all. Across the dashboard there, with your little nav screen and the correct Motorola flip phone with the car. Across the top of the dash, no cracks. Lovely and straight, all the dials are lovely and clear. As we come down the driver's seat, a little bit of wear at the driver's seat, January seat always sort of wear, no rips or tears, sort of grubby more than anything, good clean would sort of rectify some of that. The Jag seats always seem to wear sort of a little bit harder than most cars, but no rips or tears at all. You've got that light brown carpet set throughout with the correct Jaguar mats, all nice and clean. And again, we'll come back down that centre console, have a good look at that on onto the armrest there, a little bit of wear at the armrest, but again, no rips or tears. Lift this seat forward, have a look at the back seats. Like most Jaguars showing no use at all in the back of there. No rips or tears, no unwanted stains, especially with it being such a light cream. As we go into the boot now, you've got your bag for your tonneau. This is the number plate that the car will be coming on, so have a good look at that there. You've got your Jaguar first aid, your sat-nav disc in there sat nav and your six stack in the back with the factory net even down to the triangle we're going to lift the boot floor have a look in there that's never been on a car has it lovely and clean in there as well all right for the mileage this one into the passenger front again door card lovely and tidy no rips no tears no clips missing nothing hanging off there and again we'll have a look at the back seat from the left hand side lovely and clean james is going to put the roof up in a minute so we'll have a look at this tonneau we've pulled this out the bag there and i'm not convinced that's ever been fitted to the car even down to the little press studs are brand new on that left hand side front seat again a little bit of wear but right for the the year and the mileage on this one a little bit of wear at the bottom bolster again no rips or tears or snagging at all to that what a lovely place to be sat on a summer's day with that four litre supercharger under the bonnet. As we go into the engine bay now. That supercharged Jaguar engine, four litre there. Lovely clean and tidy in here, no issues at all with that very very presentable in there like i say right for the mileage james is gonna fire this up for us now and we'll have a good listen to that and then we'll get the roof working up and down as well thank you very much james we'll check the dash for water nights and i'll show you that mileage as well like i say we've got the stamps in the boot there no one wanted noises from that at all lovely note those four liter supercharged engines right can you do the roof first, James? So you've got to have the handbrake on on this to get the roof up and down on all Jags. It's a fly-off handbrake as well. 
There we go. No hesitation at all left from the roof. It's coming up nice and smooth. When it's up, we'll have a look at the condition and then we'll put it back down so you can see the full cycle. No issues at all with that. Lovely colours with that black roof as well. Windows coming up as they should. There you have it, the roof is up. Let's have a good look at the roof itself. In gorgeous condition there. Nice and tight, no snags, no rips, no tears. It's nice and black as well. As you work your way down the seams, it's lovely and taut. That lovely glass back window, you get no delamination, those all cracking like the plastic ones. All nice and straight there. And again, up the driver's side, lovely and taut across that front edge there. No problems at all with that. Roof is absolutely perfect. James is going to bring the roof back down so we can see that cycle once again. We're then going to check uh, the dashboard as well. Windows are away down. No hesitation, no juddering from the roof at all there. Doing its job. Into the interior, let's have a, a little look at the dash on here. No warning lights on the dash there. Obviously, your handbrake's on. You've got your sat nav screen there. No pixels missing from that or from the heater. And there's the mileage there, 29,129. And there you have it, the Jaguar XKR 4 litre supercharger. The lowest mileage one we've seen. Lovely condition, that one. Check the website out for the service history and bits and bobs we've got on this. Get that roof back up there, thank you very much. 